Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Trying to find a good spot. There we go. We'll do it like that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's all I can say. I'm sleepy. Um, the Holy Ghost dealt with me on last night. I love those encounters with uh, the Holy Spirit because um, I get something out of it. And even though this morning I'm sleepy in my flesh, I'm you, uh, rejuvenated in my spirit. So let me encourage you this morning. There are going to be times when your purpose is misunderstood. There are going to be times when people think that what you're doing goes against everything that God will uh, God would tell you to do. Like, why can't you just do it the regular way, princess? Why can't, why do you have to do these videos? Why do you have to say the things that you're saying? And so, good morning, Maddie. Let me tell y'all, I have a testimony this morning that is going to stir up something in somebody's spirit. Because let me tell you what I learned. Even on yesterday, I got confirmation. Um, I got several confirmations yesterday, trust me. Um, but God is so good. So, um, one situation had to lead to another situation in order for me to see that I'm on the right track. See, a lot of times when you're doing what God purposed you to do, uh, it seems crazy to other people. Good morning, Toria. It seems stupid. It seems like it's dumb. When you stay with somebody that's not doing right, it seems like it's stupid for you not to move on to the next station because it's your time. I thank God for my pastor, uh, brother, um, Rosette. I'm going to say his name so that way y'all won't misunderstand. Uh, I thank him for his word on last night. He confirmed some things because uh, there are times when, you know, you have to make a decision a different way. When God wants you to do something a different way than what your sister princess announced or told, said. Uh, God, but, but people don't understand your purpose. The reason why you can't leave yet is because God has given you a heart and compassion for something or some people that are hurting. The reason why you can't get out of that bad relationship yet is because God has, is using you for purpose. The reason why you can't walk off the reason why Princess has to do these videos. So I'm going to use that. Uh, people misunderstand True Feels Hurt so much. They don't get that I'm not here to hurt anybody. I'm not here to, uh, because I'm saying True Feels Hurt, they feel like I'm going to try to correct people. I'm not here to correct anybody. I'm here to encourage or whatever. And so guess what? The Holy Ghost had to do a class with me on last night to show me my purpose because there are some people who see your purpose i'm finna get ready to speak to somebody and i need y'all to hang tight for just a second because i want to make sure i make this plain okay there are people who misunderstand your purpose and so they put a bad name on it or they try to make it seem or appear that you're doing something that you're not and um they will try to damage your reputation Listen to me. I'm strong, so y'all don't have to encourage me today. I'm here to encourage y'all because the Lord showed me. So, having a discussion, my husband, I, we work in dual roles. So, I look at my husband like, you know, more of my management, more of my counsel. Uh, when it comes to truth, feels hurt. I, I check, ask him questions or whatever. So, so y'all don't know. Uh, I ask him questions about what he thinks about my approach. Uh, what he thinks about what I said it could have been taken a different way, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so last night, I took in my phone for him to see my insights. So those of you that are going through something where God has given you a purpose to do it and a reason and people don't understand, he will give you insight on whether or not you're on the right track. He will do it. Facebook is doing it, but God is using that for me. So God will give you insight whether or not you're on the right track. So anyway, last night, um, before going to church, I received three different um, inbox messages telling me their story. I don't know them. Telling me their story and telling me how my videos have helped them, have encouraged them, have pushed them. I got a phone call at my job. 
of somebody that works at my job just wanting to let me know that they may not say anything they may not like anything they may not share anything blah 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 but they are watching because they need the inspiration they told me to continue to do what it is i'm doing so that was confirmation but facebook did it better facebook did it better i gotta give a shout out to facebook today Facebook sent me, um, told me to check my insights. It's an me email message and it, you know, it reminds you when you get to a certain place, um, you know, that you probably want to look at this. And then it suggests ways to make that grow. And I didn't know it. So I opened up the thing to see. And just in this month, in 28 days, Princess messages that God gave her went out to 48,000 and something people. In 28 days. Those people. I, I'm in El Paso. So you know. Those people in El Paso. Are running maybe third. In the race. When it comes to people who support. People who listen. I'm saying that because a lot of times when I do the video. People think I'm just talking to people. In El Paso. Hey Phyllis miss you. People think I'm just doing this for people or to get people straight, get people told or whatever. But I read it and my husband is my confirmation and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you guys uh, screenshots because I need y'all to see something about your purpose. When God puts purpose on your life, people are going to come up against you. People are going to lie on you, but it doesn't matter. You got to look at the bigger picture, the insights that God showed me, the stuff that he told, took me to, the emails, the inbox, inbox messages that he told me to read about people saying that I had lost hope. But do you do these videos all the time? How do I get connected to you? It ain't me. It's the Holy Spirit. God gets the glory for that. So anyway, Facebook said in United States, you have these many people. In the United States. On the Marshall Islands, you have these many people. In South Africa, you have these many people. And I couldn't even, I had to ask my husband to help me because I get words twisted. I don't get all my words right. Uh, I said, baby, what is this? And I think he said Bangladesh. I ain't never heard of the place or whatever. But it said in Bangladesh, these people are watching, supporting, or following, looking. Okay, then I read there are some people in Canada watching and looking. All right, so and there were others on the list. I'm gonna show it to y'all. I'm gonna show it. I don't want y'all to think I'm making up nothing. Um, the Holy Spirit said, This is why you must continue. Truth is hurt. This is why you must keep your feet on the on the road to success this is why you must focus and listen to me when i tell you to do videos that other people are going to go against this is why i need you to be bold in what i ask you to do this is why because i don't just have people in atlanta that need a word from me i don't just have people in your local area that need a word on this morning i need that's why i told you listen this is the holy spirit that's why i told you when you greet them don't just greet them for morning because in some places it's going to be nighttime in some places it's going to be afternoon and so when the holy spirit told me that I, I i went contrary i went away from that because i thought well lord in my time it is morning but he told me i'm not setting you up for you to just minister to the people in your time zone i'm not putting you in places look uh, literally but i'm putting you in places through this facebook through these social media outlets i'm putting you in other houses i'm putting you in houses that don't look like yours that look like tents that look like um makeshift houses i'm putting you in different places to speak i need to speak to somebody this morning stop looking at where you are and what you think what you think you're doing my inbox messages let me know that somebody is sick somewhere and somebody was just happy to come across. Like my audience now is people I don't know.
know. It makes me scared. I promise you. It scares me because now I know I may not have the support team that I, I used to have. I may not have my 10 friends or less that will come on here, like, and share, and whatever the video. I may not have that because everybody now, I may have people that come up against me, but God said if they come up against you, I will stand in the gap. I will be the right hand that is held up on your behalf. I am not concerned with that princess i need you to reach one and so when people are misunderstanding your purpose when people don't know why you stay with that man that is not treating you right or that woman that's not treating you right but you know in your heart that god told you to sit there stay there tough it out i'm not talking about abusive and stuff like that i'm not talking about all of that I'm not talking about all of that. You know. That's one thing about my truth is heard. I do not try to tell people to stay and say, you know what God is saying to you concerning. He's telling you to leave. You know it. It ain't nothing that princes can say or persuade you to do that you don't know by the Holy Spirit. You Listen, you can make an excuse if you want to and say that girl told me, but you know what the Lord sp spoke to you and say it. It, it. Like concerning, like I told my brother, like we talked, my pastor brother. I, it may not be my time. Yes, it may not. Thank you, Maddie. It may not be my time. But that's what we we can't do. We cannot focus on what people are saying and how they misinterpret. And let me tell you, them same ones that's reading and, and saying this stuff in private, having meetings, I almost hurt my feelings. I almost hurt my feelings how some of y'all come. It almost, almost, but God didn't allow it. I laughed about it, and that's the truth. And even though my feelings are mixed up when it comes to certain things, I laughed about it. Yes, Phyllis, yes. See, they think, Phyllis, because they don't call me to a program. I remember when you reached out to me. They think because they won't let me do something because they misunderstand the purpose that they, ain't nobody else asking me. They don't understand that all the way in Georgia, folks be sending me invitations to come to their service, to speak to their, at their prayer breakfast, to uh, do certain things. That, I'm telling you, people are funny. People are funny, but God told me, I'm telling you, God told me, and I'm telling you, I'm telling those of you that are listening that will see this video, you may have a different purpose than what people are interpreting. You may have a different assignment than what people understand. See, people think that I'm writing princes to try to get somebody straight and tell somebody I'm writing princes so that I can heal because I'm tired out of being in bondage from what happened to me. See, that y'all misunderstanding people's purposes. Y'all think people are try out here trying to hurt you. The ones that's trying to hurt you, y'all stay up in their face, true feels hurt. Y'all stay up in their face grinning and stuff. Y'all be eating lunch with them. The real enemies. I'm just telling you, some of y'all have some really trifling folks that y'all stay with, lay with, whatever, and y'all will never try to check them. Cause you love them. So I, I, I'm telling you, so I, the Holy Spirit had to tell me, thank you, Tor Toria. The Holy Spirit had to show me last night my insights. I have reached 48 that point, 48 point something thousand. I have, um, when I looked at my numbers, I began, I'm talking about my eyes, to I want to do it now. When I receive a message on yesterday, when somebody said I was looking for God, I was looking for God. And he led me to your video that talked about evildoers. And it confirmed what he told me. See, that's my purpose. And so that's why I'm telling you, and Bishop Mays, if you hear this video, you're going to have to be my witness because folks think I'll be sitting up here playing. I told Bishop Mays, I cannot stop doing Truth Hills Hurt. I will give my license back to you. I will get, and it wasn't because he was trying to get nothing for y'all try to read between the lines. It wasn't because he was trying to take nothing from me, cut from me, because he told me to hold up my license high. That's what he told me. He could, Listen, he spoke to my spirit. He said, hold him up high. But see, when the enemy comes up against you, it makes you feel like folks don't understand. You, you know, my purpose, people don't understand. Pastor Rosette, I just got finished talking about you this way, so, so you hear from your sister. That's my pastor brother who I was just talking about. 
That was, that's my pastor brother who I told y'all. I said God will come and come use people to confirm what he told you. Some of these messages, what I told them, my pastor brother, is that folks won't uh, take it for what they know. They already know what God told them. My videos go out and they may not just apply directly to somebody. So I was trying to, I don't know what I was trying to explain for, whatever. Uh, but you just go back. Just go back and see what I said. You, you'll see what I said. Anyway, um, I, I'm telling you, I go in places where people people don't want to see me coming because here she come with the truth or here she come with trying to tell somebody off. I ain't trying to tell nobody off. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. I ain't trying to tell nobody off. Truth feels hurt. Ain't no uh, set up for to be hurting people and, and dividing people and separating. This is not what that's this is for but i'm telling y'all when i got home and i received that message i'm serious i, I promise y'all and it said check your insights see god will give you insights for your purpose he will give you insights he'll let you know that you're not on the wrong track that you're on the right path i'm telling you i couldn't even pronounce the name of the place some of the places on my list that they're saying i'm reaching people and in bangladesh I, what I did not, I ain't pay attention in that class. I'm going to show y'all my transcript too in Princess. When you buy Princess, I'm, I will have my unofficial transcript or picture of it. So you will see where I start feeling it and where how God still let me graduate. I want to get out this car and start shouting. Um. Anyway, Bangladesh, I said I got 10 people. See, because Facebook ain't double counting people. It ain't, it ain't double counting people. It's counting individuals that are coming to your page that are trafficking. I have people in South Africa listen to what I'm saying. I have people, again, El Paso, where I'm at now, is coming in third on my followers and my viewers for this month. Okay? Uh, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Noonan, Georgia, Georgia was combined. And so they are my highest listening people. Okay. And so I came to encourage somebody this morning, stay on task, stay on your purpose, do what it is God tell you to do. If he tell you to stay, stay. If he tell you to go, go. If he tell you to do a hole in the middle, hole in the middle. It don't matter what he tell you to do. There's a purpose. Somebody's life is being delivered. Somebody's being healed. Let me tell you, this going to be a truth feels heard. The Holy Spirit told me this, so I get to say it. Princess, you are reaching more people than some people that have a church. And I had to pause right there. You're helping some people that may not make it into the sanctuary because they've been hurt. You're helping some people who lost hope in me, some faith in me. You, by being transparent, you're letting people know that, hey, I may have a second chance. This girl who used to steal from people, this girl who used to lie, this girl who manipulated people because they manipulated her. She was really playing a game with them because she thought since they do it to her, she'll do it to them. This right here, what I'm trying to tell y'all, even though I don't, when I look at my videos sometimes, I see maybe one person. Let me encourage you. Let me encourage you this morning that those of you that don't see the following, don't, don't see the money or whatever it is that you need to do, what you feel like you need to do. I see let me tell you, I see. The Lord told me I get to see. I get to see my progress. Ask God to send you a, a, a progress report. Ask him, not man. Ask God to show you. Uh, hear me this morning. Ask God. Because see, man won't pat you on the back sometimes. They won't give you kudos. They won't support you. All of that. But ask God to give you a progress report. When I tell you, I saw my progress report on last night. I saw my progress. I saw my progress report when this lady reached out to me and said that I've been trying to figure out how to fit, put myself together, and I want to know how I can get to the rest of your videos. I want to know how I can connect to your spirit. I want to know how I can hear your voice. Your voice, the same voice that I thought was not something that was presentable to people. The same voice that's so raspy, get on my nerves when somebody asks me to read out loud. She said in her message, I'm telling y'all, I wish I could share some of these things with y'all. My husband is a witness on my way to church. I received a long paragraph i mean long where this lady is saying i want to connect can you help me i don't want to bother you on a personal level i just need to connect to your voice to the sound of your voice I, the holy spirit said to me this is why my pastor brother at church confirmed to me 
when I told Reggie, I said, it tickles me because now, like, Toria, Pastor Rosette, different ones, you know, sharing a video with their family members and stuff. And God confirmed to me that, baby, you're not just speaking to one person. Sometimes when people are watching the video, there are multiple people at one time, even though Facebook is counting one, there are multiple people gathering together. I remember a friend of mine sent me that people gathering together to look at these videos. No matter what they're looking at them for, you cannot stop your purpose. And so I told Bishop Mays, I'm telling y'all, not too, about two or three weeks ago, I can't stop True Feels Hurt. I can't allow True Feels Hurt to be stumbled on by people because they misunderstand my purpose. I can't allow that. I will give y'all y'all stuff back. I will do this or do that, but I cannot stop True Feels Hurt because it is keeping somebody from suicide. It's keeping somebody, it's giving somebody hope for tomorrow it is giving encouragement to somebody i can't sit down now i'm doing more in truth feels hurt than i am in your ministry sir and he he said i, I appreciate that i didn't know evangelist that's what my pastor said yes i didn't know evangelist i didn't know and see that's the problem most people don't know and like I said, he wasn't coming at me no bad way. He was not coming at me no bad way. I just let him know that there are going to be some videos that make people uncomfortable. There are going to be some things that make some people uncomfortable. It's going to be some stuff said that's going to shake some people. My grandmama used to say, hit dogs or holler. My, uh, one of my other friends used to say something about the saint screaming. When they name it being called out. But it's better for your name to be called out here on earth. And I ain't even calling your name. That's the Holy Spirit got to be because I ain't calling your name. So I'm just saying. Liz and Susan, go forth. Phyllis, go forth. Pastor Rosette, go forth. Toria, go forth. Maddie, go forth. I'm calling out the names of the people that I see. Uh, Go forth. Please go forth. Kenneth, please go forth. I'm talking to y'all. Go forth. Go forth. Go forth. Don't let people stop you. Don't let people confuse you. Don't let people hold your hostage. Don't let people. I'm trying to look for other names while I talk. Don't let people keep you in no box. And you ain't got to be no. Mm -mm. Do what God told you to do. Do what he told you to do. Some of y'all got a, a, a different plan to get there. Some people got a different way to get there. But just do what he told you to do. Stay focused. Can't worry about the people. I'm going to put... You hear me? Go forth. Thank you, Pastor. Speak to me this morning. I'm telling you, I get so overwhelmed sometimes with people and they misunderstand and they misinterpret it. But God told me, Princess, you're doing ministry. You're doing my ministry. You're speaking to people. You're, you're, you're connecting. I'm telling you, I had to pray for somebody I did not know. I had to pray for people. I'm telling you, I have people come at me. They ain't ask me for no money. They ain't ask me for nothing. They just want to meet Jesus. They want to see and they see something in me. And that's what I'm talking about. When I, I'm so excited about that because people used to see something very bad coming from me but now they see the spirit of god and so i thank god for that and i'm going on to my job because even in that job even when i walk in i know that the anointing of the holy spirit is going and traveling with me so even though i don't want to be here at this job god said i have a purpose for you so those of you that go to your job and you don't really like it god said i have a purpose so stop that complaining just go walk in your anointing walk in your purpose walk in your deliverance because that's what people princess is coming out soon i'm walking in my deliverance I ain't trying to hurt nobody I ain't trying to hurt my family members i got to get it out though because i need to be healed i need to be set free i need for somebody else to know you're not the only one that went through this and so i must keep for it bishop told me to hold my license up high i don't have them in this car but guess what i said i ain't gonna just hold my life holding jesus up I'm holding his name. I'm lifting his name. And so y'all continue to follow me as I follow Christ. If I encourage you, please, please keep me in prayer. If I say something to help you go get through the day, you please pray that I get through the day. Because the enemy, Pastor Jones said to me last night, Princess, the bigger you go, the bigger your enemy is going to get. And that was confirmation and encouragement. Also, I'm telling you, people see you. People ain't saying nothing, whatever. But they saying something. Thank you, Simone. Go, go, look, go forth, Simone. Go forth, Simone. Hear me? Yeah, it's people sitting in y'all church hurting, just so y'all know. It's people sitting in y'all church contemplating suicide, and they just need to see Jesus. I'm just telling y'all, it's people sitting next to you in service and stuff, and so y'all need to ask God for discernment. I'm then this truth feels hurt. Y'all need to ask God, so how can you use me? Use me, God. Use me, use me, use me. Everywhere I go, use me.